Hey, your man Andrew, we're coming back to you. We're going to keep it a true to the game today. I'm going to be doing a video response to Ulcum, who is one of my subscribers. He's been asking me questions about Star Wars, the role playing game. And this will be touching on the movies and the television shows to some extent. What he's asking me about is light side, dark side of the Force. Uh, he likes the Jedi, the light side, do the right thing. And guess which one I like. Yeah, it's red lightsabers all the way for me. I, even as a child, I always rooted for the bad guys. Always, always rooted for the bad guys. I have no problem telling you that I wanted to see Mumra kill the Thundercats every episode. I wanted to see Darth Vader slice that uh, lightsaber right through Luke Skywalker. Always hated Luke Skywalker. Never liked Obi Wan Kenobi. Always thought Yoda was stupid. I do not like. The good guys, I root heel all the time. Um, you know, and another correlation to the light side, dark side of the force. Uh, Green Lantern Corps, Sinestro Corps, the same thing. Green Lanterns are Jedi's, Sinestro Corps are Sith. They're almost exactly the same. And uh, I don't root for Hal Jordan either, to put it that way. The dark side of the force gives you such well, let me let me bash the light side of the force first. The light side of the force this one, isn't it? Um, that sneaky dark side, the light side of the force, what it gives you is, I am not afraid. I am not afraid is a horrible place to bring your character from. It, it doesn't, it really even come off as heroic. If you're really not afraid, really what are you coming against? What are you overcoming? Oh, I really don't like paladins in d, &D. If you are immune to fear, you're immune to it. You, you know, not going to really make that compelling of a character. I want to see a guy who is really wrestling with his inner demons, with these turmoils, with these fights, with, with the dark tendencies he has and coming across. And that's that's why Anakin Skywalker would have been an amazing character if the actor they hadn't played it. If they didn't have a piss poor actor playing him in the movies, it would have been amazing. Those stories would have been great. They weren't, unfortunately. That, that's a different topic, though. But the character was really well put together. This this struggle, this, um, you know... And he's, he's the real hero of the story, Darth Vader. He, he goes through the, the Joseph Campbell's heroic cycle. Is the armor, the black armor, is essentially his descent into the underworld. Eventually, through death, he is reborn as you know, a hero in the end, you know, reappearing and being cleansed away of his sin. Uh, you know, to, helping to foil the plans of the Empire, uh, sacrificing his life. And I like that. And I think that's cool. The characters that aren't the Jedi, you know, I am the Jedi. I am right. What I do is right. I am not afraid. I will push through. I will persevere. I am stronger than this. I think those make weak characters. I don't like Jedi as characters. I think you also have the tendency for them to be continually, by the nature of how they've set up, railroad your game, spotlight hog, and be all kinds of problems. I really like the, the Dark Jedi. I know you can have them in the same game. That doesn't work real well. But in a Star Wars game I played recently, the D20 version, not, not the one that's more like 4th edition D&D, the one that came up before that. I was playing a Twi'lek. Twi'leks are from a slave race. It was a blue-skinned Twi'lek. Um, and his sister had been sold off into slavery. His father was killed by slavery and tried to stand up. And he keeps keep, 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 keep getting beat down, beat down, beat down, beat down. No, I'm doing jobs left and right. And I eventually fall with a criminal syndicate. Uh, I finally get to go over. Like, I get to go over with some Ugnaughts. And the character starts slowly like becoming more and more of a bully. And he was a fringer at first. And I start becoming this, you know, the Dark Jedi. And the game starts like weaving in. All this kind of cool stuff. And I just pick up classes, you know. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. We're, we're rolling with it. I think I was like a fringer. Then I was a scoundrel. Then I was uh, the Dark Jedi prestige class. Or, uh, dark Side... Uh, Force devotee is what I think it's exactly called, and he eventually falls in, you know, with the, these higher up people, and he just starts skyrocketing in in terms of social status and power, and so forth, and really having this interesting experience because the whole time what the story is about are the tremendous inner turmoil, the tremendous inner demons he has, and the great thing is at the heart, the character is still doing something noble and pure. He wants to free his sister, he wants to free his people, he wants to to raise up, but he is not will, he is not strength and light and in charge. He is scared. He is full of hate and fear and 
he remembers those strong people standing over him, those shadows cast down, and that is the kind of thing that you can portray with the dark side, and because there's always that great road to salvation that you can also have with that dark side, you know, knocking it down, building it back up, and you know that continuous game of seduction, temptation, corruption, falling, standing up, sliding, and it gives you so much to play with there. The ebb and flow of the character can really be miraculous and then raising up to a point of uh, tremendous importance even in the galaxy versus this stagnant sort of structure of the Jedi slowly incrementally increasing and trying to get on the Jedi Council and you know they're really not being afraid of things and I think that's really where the Sith are so much more wonderful for player characters because they are afraid at the heart of what a dark Jedi is, is fear. They are afraid of themselves, of their place in the universe, of the fact that they can't control things around them, of the fact that inevitably everyone will lose. And there's so many really compelling, interesting stories that can be told with the Sith. I really like them. I think they make for wonderful characters. I think that particularly if you're just using a Dark Force uh, adept, I think more than a Sith, someone who is Force sensitive, that's coming over to that dark side, particularly, you know, if you're playing like maybe a Transdotion slave or priest of, uh, actually, I forget what they call their god, but something like the one, and you're playing someone like that, who is, in fact, succumbs to the, the dark side of the Force without having any idea what the Force really is. You really have a very interesting character following with a group of bounty hunters or play, play a game in that fashion. I think that they can make great Star Wars characters that in no way are a problem for, for a group and you can have those inner demons wrestling with that turmoil and that struggle in a way that is very interesting. To me, I watch a show and I see the character just always winning, or even if it's just barely. I get so tired of that, like that. I want to see a character lose, and I want to see him show his ass and get beat and have to rise up. And then maybe, just maybe, just maybe, just one time, he does that right thing, that really cool thing, and then it, it all comes together with this amazing crescendo pop and you have really a masterpiece of a story. So, you know, for that video response, welcome. I like this. I like the Dark Jedi. I like the Dark Side, particularly Force Adepts. I think they're problems of both Sith and Jedi in the game, in the movies. You know, I like Darth Vader a lot better than uh, the other ones, but I was always a Jabba fan. Always, all those guys are, were, were my guys. Uh, and Bosk. That's what I liked in Star Wars. Bosk and all of the Jabba guys. Particularly uh, Bib Fortuna. Bib Fortuna, Jabba, Boss, those are my three favorite Star Wars characters. Didn't really care about either of those sides at all. Uh, but in terms of for a role playing game, I think the Sith, if you take it and run it that way, or, or it's just the Dark Jedi, you run a lot more potential for having a game. Because as a game master, to me at least, nothing is less rewarding than having a character sit there and just no sell everything. It makes me go nuts. Absolutely nuts. And if you play the characters over the dark side they should be a continuous struggle wrestling because they are not really in control of themselves and they are afraid and that is should be at the core at the heart of everything is that fear that they have and that makes an awesome character